Juan Rico is a talented tape. Obviously, Nonito Deneva is a younger fighter. Has a height advantage of three inches, weight, half a pound. Reach advantage is three inches in favor of Donito or Donito Donaire. And he usually has that edge in his fights. He's a he's a big man for the weight divisions he's been in, and he's growing into new weight divisions. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the unified rules, different from the California rules that we had earlier. And the big difference is now only the referee can stop the fight, and the accidental foul rule here, remember, should the fight need to be stopped because of a foul, a headbutt, a cut, or something along those lines, we'll go to the scorecards only after the fourth round. Prior to that, it would be no contest. Well, you know, in talking, Gennaro touched on the age difference, but Sotorenko did not turn pro until 25. He's a nine-year pro. He had a brilliant amateur career. I saw him, I remember, at the Australian, at the uh, 2000 Olympics. And, mm -hmm. You know, he uh, he turned pro late, but, uh, and now as a pro, uh, he's had 207 total rounds, 103 of them championship rounds. So he is definitely battle-tested, guys. Yeah, and unlike uh, Pavel Volak, who we saw earlier, he will try to jab his way in. When he, He's a, kind of a straight-ahead fighter as well, but he will try to jab. There's a little more style to the Sidorenko uh, uh, arsenal. But then again, he does not have a big punch. Well, he's come all the way from the U Ukraine here. A decided underdog as we look at Vladimir Sidorenko, but do not forget, he's the former WBA bantamweight champion. Right. And it's Donaire coming up the bantamweight now. He is, uh, he had six title defenses at 118, albeit two of them draws. So again, if he's not battle weary, he's very battle tested. Lost his title and suffered only his only two defeats last year, Anselmo Moreno, which is no disgrace. This no. is his United States debut, debut, and he wants American fight fans to fall in love with him. And Moreno put some uh, some movement on him. Good boxer, unusual style, and. Uh, I think Donaire will move a little here tonight uh, as well. Well, he's been talking about, you know, I, risk is the wrong word, gamble's the wrong word, but being more entertaining and, and not thinking so much. But I think, you know, Donaire's greatest trait is he's a very quick study. He figures out the pace, range, and speed and assets and liabilities of an opponent. So uh, to allude to Gennaro, you know, if it's not broken, why fix it? <laughs> I agree. Wait, you didn't say it that way, though, did you? <laughs> You're right, but I... And you then put, again, you I put came the back. California spin on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I really don't understand what Nonito's talking about. He's not a dull fighter. I agree. I've never heard him described as being a dull fighter. I agree, but Nonito uh, has know. never been in a dull fight. <laughs> but he's I talking mean, about this being entertainment, boxing's entertainment. You know, we'll see. We'll see. I, I don't think uh, Robert Garcia wants him to change at all. Who's uh, training him? As we see, the nine-year pro as well, 27 years old. Ring Magazine KO and upset of the year in 07. Remember that perfect left hook that stopped Vic Darchinian? Ice on cold. Track. Yes, there were did. jaws dropping all across the world. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and, I like, and I like the flashy boots he has on. Well, we saw him with Inez earlier in the dressing room. He's from San Leandro, California via the Philippines. And he's in everybody's top 10 pound for pound in the world. A former Junior Olympic and U.S. National Amateur Champion. So he's got a lot of boxing experience, obviously, growing up in California. Coming off an easy stoppage win last July. And we see Vladimir Sidorenko in his United States debut. Debut his last fight last August. A win in his hometown of Ukraine as we go up to Michael Buffer and meet both fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Honda Center, Anaheim, California, Top Rank Boxing presents the co-featured bout of the evening, sponsored by Tecate, Cerveza con Caracter. At ringside, the three judges scoring this contest will be Raul Cai Sr., Max DeLuca, and Pat Russell. Inside the ring, the referee in charge of the action at the bell, Marcos Rosales. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of boxing 
for the vacant WBC Continental America's Bantamweight Championship. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with yellow, official weight, 117, one half pounds. His professional record, 22 victories, including seven knockouts, with only two defeats and two draws. From Kiev, Ukraine, Vladimir Sidorenko. And fighting out of the red corner, wearing red with white, officially weighing in at 118 pounds. As a professional, 24 victories. With 16 knockouts, only one defeat. From General Santos City, Philippines, Nonito, the Philippine Flash Dunia! Yeah! Gentlemen, I remind you, protect yourselves at all times and obey my commands. Okay, good luck. We're going 12 rounds. Touch them up. You know, looking at the two guys, yeah, I just, uh, in the lobby and stuff, De Niro always strikes me as the bigger guy, 5'6", some say 5'7", but Sotorenko looks pretty wiry and strong. And again, he's been at Bantamweight a long time. You ready? You ready? Donair is the more athletic of the two. Fox. A little more versatile of the two fighters. You can see he's much bigger as they come out to center ring. <laughs> Even though, as Nick said, the, he's coming up to meet a guy who's been up at the Bantamweight. <laughs> he's going to easily grow into the 122 and 126 pound divisions, Nick. Oh, definitely. He has a height. You know, he he has the body to, to, to be able to put on muscle. So it, it'll, it'll work to his advantage. Gennaro, it's so early, but some key points that Sidorenko has to do to topple this guy. I mean, it would be a big upset. But one thing he has to do is, is you know, he has to get in there and work that body. Work the body, try to figure try to figure out what's going to slow down Nonito. And you see that that jab of Nonito, the way he, he shoots it and, and he drops that hand, he needs to be able to counter right away. Yeah, I agree. That left hand, uh, he has a habit of dropping it where he thinks it's in his comfort zone, but maybe a, a counter right hand from Sidorenko. Well, but then again, to land that counter, I mean, Donito's so aware of all of everything that comes to him that he, he has quick reaction, quick reflexes. That makes it a problem for any fighter. I agree. And then you throw in that speed of his. His hand speed is excellent. Which, uh, to allude to Rich's earlier point about moving up in class. Good lift. Oh, oh, he's wobbled Sorrento already. Sorrento's covering up. He's trying to blast back. But it's to the tip point. It's to the top of the head. Well, let's see now, Donaire said this is entertainment he can close the show here there's so much time left halfway through round one Sidorenko's legs really yes. went though they are not underneath oh him. and he's yeah. eating shots here another left he's trying to come back Donier with he's, the time he's, he's done yeah, yeah and he should done. he should finish the job left hook and that left hook is his most powerful but he strung some right hands together as well Donier very patient, not getting ahead of himself, not punching himself out. But look at the, how red the face of Vladimir Sidorenko is. I mean, those are shots that are being landed on top of the head. If they're not landing on the jaw, or else I think he would have been knocked out. These are shots that are actually being landed on top of the skull, on top of the head, and our, his equilibrium is totally way out. Each time he got hit hard, you could see the right leg of his kind of stiffen up. Yeah. And skip a couple of inches. Oh, Sidorenko Sir with oh, good right hand. a nice right hand. Nice right hand. A short right hand had landed. There's 30 seconds or more left in this round for Nonito Donaire to finish explosively. I mean, he's had a tremendous first round, but fighting very much in control. And you would call it a 10-8 round with yeah. 20 seconds to go. I'm glad you said that. This is a this is a round judges should score 10-8. But it may be a move. And he's hurt again. He got hurt again. Big right hand, right hand. Big. Left hook, right hand. Vicious overhand Four. right. Oh, he's right. Come on. He's wobbly. He's, he's out. It's he's over. out. Look at his feet. Hey. It's over. Look at me, you okay? Left hook, hey. right hand. Bell saved him. Oh. Bell saved him. 
I mean, look at the way he's walking back. Which to me, stop I could, it. Watch the doctor. I would stop that fight. We'll go to the other corner eventually to watch the doctor in there. I'm feeling good. Fucking looking sensational, okay? Let's keep doing that, right? When you get him hurt, don't get wild. Cut man, doctor, everybody taking a big look. Oh, he's so hurt. You don't have to speak Ukrainian to see this. I mean, look, just look at the vicious overhand. Look at the, the vicious punches that Ronito's trying to land there. This was early in the round when he was hurting him. And each time, you could the legs of Sidorenko would betray him. You We're can see. see right now, here. watch the right knockdown. There. There's the overhand right now. Watch, he crumples his leg underneath oh, wow. him as well. He rolled over the leg, and the leg crumpled underneath him. Well, that left hook right hand was just as good as it gets. Oh. His legs are gone, though. And well, Donaire 35 Go! of 69, Sedarenko 4 of 25. But that will be maybe the best he will do. It looked like his corner was just saying cover up. You know, and in the corner of Nonito, they say that you're doing good. Just continue doing what you're doing. And I believe it's true. You know, just continue doing what you're doing. Relax. You well, know, you can overpower him and knock him out whenever you want. Yeah, he just created openings there. And, and that's the that's the key, creating the openings. Because as you see, Sidorenko, he's not a terrible defensive fighter. He walks forward, but he's had his hands. They're always held high. They're on the sides of his face, up on the cheeks. He's, but and he's, man, I've never seen him blown apart the way that he was right there. Yeah, that's, a, that's well put. But like, you, like, you, like, like you were saying, Nick, uh, it's, it's the, the hand, the guard were, was up there where it's supposed to be, but the punch were hitting on top of the head, and that's where the damage was being done. Yeah. I, I just love Donaire, the way he, this quick study. He had this, he had his opponent's pattern down within 30 or 45 seconds of his fight, and then he just went to serious work. And Sidorenko's got to do something drastically different, but he has the look of a man who doesn't have that answer. Comes forward. Oh, his face just looks like a piece of raw meat already. Donaire moves to his left. He'll whip that left hand. Looking to unload maybe that hook off the jab. We'll see, but it's just single shots now from Nonito Donaire in red. You know, when Nonito fought Raul Martinez earlier this year, it was a... The same kind of story. He, he just stormed out first round, took complete control, dropped Martinez a couple of times, but he didn't finish him until the fourth. He took this kind of patient attitude again and waited for the opening, and when he just look, nailed him with that upper. Look game. at how red the face of Sidorenko is. And I there's mean, blood it, mixed in with the red face. It's, yeah, I mean, it looks like a dangerous situation from a medical perspective. I've never seen a face that red. And it could be partially smeared blood. Oh, and here comes the Ukrainian fighting for with desperation. I mean, basically what you see right there is the makeup of a, of a bloody nose getting painted all over the face of uh, the fighter. I mean, look at that straight, stiff jab by No near just smeared him. No near moving constantly to the left and working that left. Well, Donaire is the painter, and the paintbrush is that left hand. That That's is. It. Missing with the left hook, but nothing back from Sidorenko. So the second round, all Nonito Donaire, very much in control. I haven't seen him throwing his right hand at all, but good. Oh, and now he is. Oh, a right followed by a left. Down the stretch in round two, and he goes southpaw at the hands, bell. But Nonito doesn't need to be taking chances like this. Don't go in wild like that, because there could be an accidental hit, but where he gets the bad cut. Well, the other thing to consider, you know, okay. he wants to get him out of here eventually. He doesn't want to risk hand injuries. True. Nonito's had a lot of hand injuries. It's a matter of whenever you want, all right? Here it is. Okay? Take it to quit. Breathe. As we see... Our co-main event, we're ready for it. And uh, the WBC World Lightweight Championship, Humberto Soto, you're looking at him now. He'll put that title belt on the line against uh, East LA's Urbano Antillon. That is our next fight on top rank pay-per-view here in Anaheim, California. Nick Charles, Rich Morata, and Gennaro Hernandez. And Gennaro, exactly what you said. We heard Robert Garcia, it's yours anytime you want. 
Anytime he wants it, he's going to take it, but he just has to be careful because Cisneros, he, he tends to put his head forward, and that could be an excellent pass where he may get the end, bat in the corner. You know, he gave us a, a he gave us a brief look at him at left-handed in that last round, switched into that southpaw stance. He did that in his last fight with uh, Hernan uh, Tyson Marquez, and to tell you the truth, I didn't think he looked very good when well, he when he went left-handed. I thought he looked better just. Staying well, right handed. I don't see any reason to change up. Well, you know, he had a hip flexor injury there, and and he said, uh, you know, he alluded to, to us yesterday that it's not completely healed, perhaps, that he might switch, but Robert Garcia really doesn't want him to either. I agree, Rich. Well, he, he tends to get wild when he switches. Yeah. That's a, that's the that's the bad yeah, thing. If you hit a guy, him. if you catch a guy in transition that way, switch and you get closer, it's a different story, but it rarely works offensively. Nonito Donaire, all his way, a 10-8 round, we would say, 10-8 round, so it's all happening for him, and uh, the Ukrainian uh, uh, Vladimir Sidorenko and former Bantamweight champion, his face is a mess already, and we're only in the third of a scheduled 12-rounder. Donaire with that left hand low, he'll pump that right hand over the left guard of Sidorenko, who's open for that right hand. I, I, I got to give it to Sidorenko. He's actually going in there. He he's, wants to look for the fight. To him, he's yeah. trying. He's trying. You know, there's no, there's no calling him out because he is throwing some pretty, pretty good hard right I hands that aren't landing. But at least his intentions are bad. He's got that toughness in him, and it, it was apparent before this fight. And I'm glad he's carrying it out. But Donaire now, with blood uh, between the eyes, probably the blood I would say most safely of uh, his, his opponent. Donaire is f punching what he wants, and Sidorenko, as you said, though, is trying to press the action a little bit. He's walking to no Donaire, but not punching his way in. Well, you know, he only had the two losses to Anselmo Moreno. Those oh, were oh, good left hand. Left. Oh, a little left hand. That counter was a beauty. Four. And again, Four. to the top of the head. That's it was another draw. And that little 16-inch hook. That's it. He just cannot take the power of Donaire. Well, what? recently, who can? Speed power, yeah. speed and power. All right, 40 seconds to go in a round. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at the welt on the right, below the right eye of Sidorenko. He's just puffed up, and he is a bloody mess. The doctor's going to take a real good look after this third round. If he gets out of it, Donaire looking for that left again as he continues to move to his left. I, I think Donaire has definitely become a better fighter since hooking up with Robert Garcia. He's just, he looks to me like he's got it all. He's the package, man. Stop on the belt. Speed, power, and smarts. I love his smarts in the ring. Time! Two knockdowns, two 10-8 rounds as we head to the fourth. And look at that face. Okay. Еще раз тебе послушай меня. Справа уходи, ты справа все время попадай. Зачем ты подходишь до удара? Should I try and translate what they're saying to him? Well, I mean, what, would, what do you say strategically? <laughs> so Stop eating I, I, I'm thinking that they're trying to bob him. We even try to block him with the head a little bit and, and try to counter it. Picking up, pick up that right hand. As we saw right now, he got hit with a left hook because his right hand wasn't up. And watch, and watch the left hook now come. And again, the leg goes Woo. underneath him. Look at that right leg. Well, look at that speed. And, and, and his punches speed. have to be a little more quicker because the yeah. right hand, he's throwing it, but it ain't coming back with speed. You know, Nonito was not even going forward when he landed that punch. But that, that's this beautiful hand speed that I, I think is, that's going to carry him against these Sparks. bigger guys up the road. So Donaire, 76 of 206, connects through th those rounds, three rounds, power connects, 46 shots. He's had Sidorenko down twice and practically out. I thought the first round where he dropped him, that was it. I thought he was going to finish. We're in the fourth, the scheduled 12 rounder. At the Honda Center in Anaheim, California, it's Gennaro Hernandez, Rich Morata, and yours truly, Nick Charles. This is top-ranked pay-per-view. Glad you're enjoying it. Sidorenko is he's dead game, and he's talented, but he's completely outclassed. Yep. And, the, and the thing is, is he's a former world champion with successful defenses of the championship. And that gives you some indication 
of the validity of the high pound for pound rankings that Nonito Donaire is garnering now. Absolutely, Rich. And I want the other fighters to know all these bantamweights, super bantamweights, and eventually featherweights to be careful. Nonito is somebody they're going to have to be very, very He's got it all, as like you said. Yes. And La oh, and Sederenko digs, digs a nice left hook to the body, so he's never stopped trying. But as we said, maybe he stopped believing long ago. Right hand by uh, Donair, but he's really pretty left hand happy in this uh, fight. Well, he's seen he's seen that that that's the punch that actually hurt him, so that he's going to continue using it. Yeah. But he did get caught with that right hand right now. Kind of okay. stopped himself right there. Oh, oh he drives, drives the Ukrainian. That, 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 I think that's, that's enough. That's that's enough. That is enough, folks. Yeah. That's, that's it. That's it. No, that's blood, enough. Blood that's enough. Blood's from his mouth. That's enough. No, Nito Donaire said, hey, boxing is entertainment. I need to make a powerful statement. And he made an explosive one inside four. A three knockdown, chilling performance to take out former world champion Vladimir Sidorenko who never stopped trying, but who stopped believing, as we said a long time ago, as he felt the power of this man. A complete wipeout initiated by Nonito Donaire, and I'm sure Bantamweights are hoping that he doesn't stop off at Bantamweight and just intends to move on <laughs> up the a, line. That's a good point. Here we see it again, guys. Look at it, Gennaro. Straight, I mean, the left hook that didn't connect, but that right straight down the pipe that I think actually broke the nose of Sidorenko right there. And he took, and he was smart to take that knee and say, you know what, I'm done. The, the power that I felt right now, that you know. You know, I really wonder what this guy does at this point. You know, stay at 118, but they got that tournament going on. Abner Maris, Vic Darchinian, uh, Joseph Agbeko, Yanni Perez. That's a heck of a division. But those guys are going to be tied up a little bit. So does Why Lunaire wait for them? Why wait for them? Just Let's go move to 22? Up. Let's move up and fight the champions up there. Wow. Why waste my time and wait for somebody that well, who knows how long that's going to take? We're what we're talking at 22. I mean, there's Steve Molitor, the IBF, and Wilfredo Vasquez. Uh, that's who uh, he's had his gun sights on. Wilfredo Vasquez Jr at WBO champ. But you know, like you said, there's a tournament going on. All of them are scheduled to fight and meet each other. What do I do? I'm not going to waste my time. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and fight the top contenders or top champions in the other division. And Michael Buffer will make it official now. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Honda Center, Anaheim, California, the end comes. At 1 minute 48 seconds, round number four, the winner by knockout victory and new WBC Continental America's champion, Nonito the Filipino Flash. Oh, yeah! yeah! Nice belt, but that's hardly the issue at this point. Nonito Donaire at any weight is a proposition to be dealt with and a Dangerous one at that, Gennaro, as we uh, look at how he took apart Vladimir Sidorenko. Oh, definitely. He showed speed. He showed counterpunching, which right there we saw that left hook. He saw his prey, he saw a prey, so he went after him. Straight right hand with good with good with, with good power, with good speed. The overhand right straight to the top of the of the head, which over which obviously he couldn't. I mean, just look at the way he fell. I'm surprised he didn't get his leg damaged. There's a speed of movement. He turns south by right there, got a little wild. Third round comes along. Good counter left hook, stepping back at the same time, which was an excellent punch. Which Sidorenko obviously didn't have an answer to. Here's the end. And there's a hook, a straight right to the, to the nose, uh. sending him down and out. I mean, the power of those punches where you really see him drive a guy back, Gennaro. Just drive him back. I mean, it just proved that he has the power to go up and wait as well. So, Rich Morata is with, our, with Nonito Dodaire now. Rich? Nonito, congratulations on the victory. Did you expect or think you could be that dominant that quickly? You know, we worked really hard for this fight. Everyone and all the people that showed up here, I want to thank you guys first of all. Um, all everybody, all the fans all around the world, 
you know, I'm motivated. Um, you know, I have the February fight with Montel. Now it's set. Um, I'm really, really motivated for this fight. You know, because I wanted to win. I wanted to win, and then I, I want to go for Montiel. And so that's why I felt I was motivated enough to know that I can do I can dominate anybody if I'm at 100 percent. You know, you hurt him badly in round number one, but it is it seemed as though you still stepped back and were patient after that. Actually, I was gonna throw all kinds of stuff because I know I'm in shape. But Robert told me to relax. You got him because you relax. You got him because you know you can see everything, and that's what you need to do is stay back to what you were what you know best. Not to get wild, so I stayed back to what I know, be know best, and that is to watch everyone and uh, my, my opponent as much as I can. It seemed as though he simply could not take your power. For, so were you actually looking for one big shot to try to finish him? To be honest with you, I didn't even go to my plan. You know, I mean, I, I, the counter hooks is always going to be me. Um, I wanted to throw a lot of punches. As you can see, there was some combination that I threw in there, but, you know, I felt that I could take him out with, with one punch uh, any time, so that's what I tried to stick to. He was a very brave guy. He was still coming to you all through the fight, no matter what had happened. Big respect for Sodorinko. I mean, very, very tough guy. You know, he, he, I, I can see it. The first round, he was already out. I mean, as a fighter, I can see the eyes, and I hardly see people's eyes, only when I know that I hurt him. And I know that I hurt him, and he just keeps coming, and that's respect I have for Sodorinko. Nonito, you mentioned Fernando Montiel. It looks like he's dead ahead for you in February. Well, How do you feel about that? I'm excited, you know, February 19, guys, with, with one of the best, Fernando Montiel, I'm coming for you, you know that, and uh, it's going to be for the people, people want to see it, I want to see it, you know, he's a good fighter, he's going to be a tough guy, but, you know, I wanted to make a statement in this fight, and I did. You know, I'll tell you, you seem to be a real crossover star, you've got your Filipino fans, your uh, U.S. fans, your Mexican fans, it doesn't seem to matter what the culture is. You know what, that's, that's beautiful, you know, I know I have a lot of Mexican friends, a lot of Mexican fans, especially Filipino fans, and that's the thing is, this is boxing, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, as long as you can entertain the people, as long as you take pride on, on everyone as fans, including the Mexican fighters, I mean, uh, pe people, the, the American people, and especially the Filipino people, you got to love your fans. And that's what I, I love is that the fans and I, I'll do my best for the fans. We mentioned during the fight that we really feel that you've become a better fighter since hooking up with Robert Garcia. What has he meant to your career and why has this happened? It's a confidence he gave me, you know, he believes in me. It was the first time I met with Robert. I've known him for a long time. But one thing is that he pushed me to believe in myself that I can do anything I want and then I can do it as long as I work hard and that's the thing about my, my team you know I, I gotta I gotta say to everybody my team I gotta thank them Robert Jonathan Baz um, Brian Swartz uh, uh, Jonathan Penelosa you know Victor Conti uh, Remy Kerchemny all those guys I love you guys thank you so much all my team thank you guys all right. You know, you're getting very, very highly ranked in the pound-for-pound pound rankings, regardless of the magazine or the website or whatever the organization. You thought that, well, maybe, I, maybe I'm worthy. Do you think you're worthy now? You know, I still got to beat Montiel. Then I will say I'm worthy of that. But that is such a pleasure. That is such an honor for me. And because the guys and the fans out here believes in me, and that's why I can make it happen. All right. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Nonito. Great performance. Thank you, guys. Marami salamat sa yung lahat. Uh, muchas gracias, amigos. And everybody, thank you guys so much, man. I appreciate it. There he is. There's a superstar in the making, Nick. I think he's already arrived. And uh, thank you <laughs> to Nonito Donarin.